right, 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 folks. Michael Mulligan here at 105 Williston Road in Sagamo Beach. It is a B E A beautiful place. Let's walk in. Let's see if we can get the code right. Twenty four, twenty four, two car garage. Walking into the mud room area. Half bath. Open house prep. Oh yeah. Is the office slash den slash whatever you would like it to be. Right, we got the double doors. I'm gonna switch so we can get more in this. All right, we got the double doors for the closet as you walk in. Again, plenty of room in the mud room for a bench. Got my new squeaky shoes on today. Boots, kitchen, countertops are amazing. Going over. Check out the deck in the outside. Sixteen by twelve deck. Oh yeah, it's got a driveway that comes all around the house with hard pack to the slide it downstairs because. It is amazing down there. We'll get to that, but it is prepped and ready for an in-law if you so need or desire. All you need is a kitchen, maybe a wall, and you're good to go. Nice and wide open. I love this floor. I use this in all my specs. It's um, it's a hickory. It's a naughty hickory. And to me, it's probably one of the best ones as far as hardness and dogs because I have two shepherds and they're a pain. So this string right here is where you hang a TV that actually has a tube that goes in and comes out down here so you can pull all your wires through and yeah. This is the formal dining room. Details, details, details. And I am like leaving the lights on as I go because I am getting ready for my open house here at 11 o'clock. Front door. Amazing piece of property in Sagamore Beach. There aren't any left. This is a grand foyer. There we go. Right time of the season, you'd be able to see the Sagamore Beach from the back windows in the house. See who's ringing your bell from up here. Bedroom one. Bedroom two. That's the scuttle. Look at the depth of the insulation we put in there. Anywhere where there's a ceiling. That's the ceiling over the um, family room. And we have to leave a scuttle for a fireman with a full pack to get in just in case. I don't use bifolds. I use double doors. Get in the backyard. When the leaves go, the bridge will be right over here. Common bathroom. Double sinks. Tub shower unit. 
and the double doors. Everything in my homes is built to strict energy compliances, I guess we'll call it. We have an outside company called Home Energy Raiders that comes in and produces the paperwork for the envelope. This is the laundry room, the set, the uh, second floor laundry room. Another closet in the hallway. I got closets everywhere. Great use of space. Bedroom number three. Lighting in every room. So anyways, the energy is really well. They do the envelope and we have to follow, strictly follow all their guidelines, which make it an exceptionally efficient home master. So this door right here we just walked through is the master bedroom. We're in the master bedroom now. Master shower. Closet. These ball hinges upstairs. You get ball catches when you close them. Walk down your hallway to your walk in closet. This house is ready to go. Unfortunately, the buyers lost the sale on their house and can't buy it so somebody else will be getting this as the bedroom or as I like to call it the dance floor dead wall over here over there again with the tube and the wall with the wires can be pulled through so if you have a TV in your bedroom you won't have wires hanging it's a four zone house because of the size. That's the second one. <laughs> Let's go down to the basement. This is like the bonus. Right. Highwood stairs going down to the basement area. Vinyl plank flooring, sealed doors, again for energy for the mechanical rooms, insulation through the roof, and the cellar. All right. And here is the bonus living area. Now there are pipes in the ceiling ready, so if someone wants to put a kitchen down here, it's all ready to go. There's also a wire running across inside the wall, so if somebody does put cabinets, they'll be able to put uh, plugs up top there. Thousand square foot living area. Closet under the stairs. Another sealed door. Mechanical room. Oh, this one also. This has a hitch up in the garage. So if you go into the garage, there's a there's a plug on the wall for um, a generator. So you you lift this. You shut your main power off. Lift this up. Flip that breaker on, and then you can run the house through the generator. Also has irrigation. These are the cat live and the cable wires run throughout the house to all the rooms, basically. 80-gallon hybrid hot water heater. Very, very efficient. Bluetooth, you can get Wi-Fi on this thing. I think you could get in Mars for these things. Yeah. <laughs> I have to ask my son because I'm not that technical. All right. And the basement bathroom. Very large area. Stand up shower with seat. 
laundry connections. Again, we have one on the second floor, but this is, again, if you're going to have to have a in-law apartment or something, you have laundry downstairs as well. And again, the driveway that comes all the way around back. So the in-law person using this area would be able to have their own driveway. All right. Again, Michael Mulligan, Absolute Building Consultants. Come on down, 11 to 1 today, Sunday the 10th. And I'll probably leave five minutes early so I can get home for the patch game. Hasta lasagna, baby.